What's going on, everyone? It's time to talk about one of the more controversial and questionable films that most people have on their minds is The Nun in the Conjuring film universe. So, The Nun was released by New Line Cinema September 7th, 2018. It was written by Gary Dauberman, produced by Peter Safran and pr produced by Peter Safran and James Wan, and directed by Corin Hardy, who is that the one guy who did the Good Monster movie, The Hollow? And he's also done a few other films like The Crow from 2019. Uh, I think that's like the BBC TV version. Uh, but yeah, he also did Butterfly and uh, Keen, Somewhere Only We Know. I think that's a music video. But yeah, this had a box office of over $365.6 million, the highest grossing film. Uh, in the Conjuring film universe. So, yeah. So the nun is, uh, well, it's the backstory of Valak, the evil nun in the Conjuring film. So uh, it takes place during the war, and uh, some uh, a priest, some skeptical chick who apparently works with the Vatican, and a French-Canadian go and uh, investigate this mysterious... Um, deaths of these nuns at this church that was uh fine for the last like 30 years and all of a sudden evil things start happening so they go and investigate and try to figure out what's actually happening in this church pa castle palace thing and uh figure out what's going on in romania so as they get there they realize that there's more to this story than meets the eye the nuns are constantly praying and everything, and uh, it's a basically paint by numbers horror film. Um, it has all your conjuring franchise uh, tropes to be thrown in there. There's jump scare after jump scare for a while <laughs> in this, and um, but um, yeah, it's your pretty standard haunted castle type of film and uh, basic way of beating good against evil type of movie. Um, yeah, there's not much to it. It's a pretty paint by numbers film. Uh, but overall, I thought the film was really well shot. I like the dark and gloomy atmosphere of it. To me, this is more a gothic horror film than an actual like haunted house, like spooky, evil, demonic presence. This is more a gothic, a, more like a gothic essence type of film with the uh, a little bit of the horror stuff mixed in like yeah they have jump scares and stuff but overall um most of it is done with the more enhanced atmosphere and stuff which i really liked in this film the acting is pretty good on most levels uh, a couple actors in there are a little questionable but uh, for the most part i don't think this film is as bad as people are saying it is i'd seen way worse in film um from a high budget film standpoint so like a film that goes to theaters this one is still way above some of the ones that i've seen this one's way better than the mummy 2017 this one's way 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 better than black christmas 2019 and it's way 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 better than hellboy 2019 i don't get why people are saying this is so terrible this one i was actually relieved i was a little scared going into this film and um watching it yeah it's tropey as hell but um for what you get you get some pretty good dark imagery and evil scenes and i like how they twisted the story in such a way where it makes it even darker and weirder i really like that and i like the dark essence of it the ending's a little cheesy and tropey and uh ridiculous but overall it was still fun and good and enjoyable i thought i don't think this deserves all the hate that it gets and i still think it's still somewhat amusing and uh yeah it's not super scary or anything mind you i'm like not that no horror film really creeps me out anymore so i just watch it for like the artistic values and stuff so overall i thought this artistic wise this film was looked really good and it captured that dark gothic essence really well and it did make a lot of good creepy good scenes and that which i think a lot of films don't have these days so i thought i'm gonna give the nun a three and a half out of five probably the highest rating out of every any reviewer
<laughs> um, I, I don't think it is as bad as most people are saying it is. Most people who probably rip on this probably think this is the worst movie in the world. You want to see something terrible, watch A Haunting at Winchester House by the Asylum or something. Now that is terrible. Um, but yeah, so, but for this, yeah, it's not the best horror spooky film out there, but it's still a good, fun, gothic horror film. So, uh, if you haven't seen this and you want to see what I'm talking about, or if you want to relive it, the trailer's linked down below, like always, and also linked down below is my Instagram, those are always post clips of films and review in the future, all my stories, the film title, and hashtag, and sub genre film, and a hashtag, so you're aware of it. And also linked down below is my letterbox, Dairy P Reviews, that's where I post my first diary, even after watching the films. So follow me on one of those two platforms, stay in loop with this channel, like this video, share it some more people, wherever it, comment your opinions of the film down below if you have any. And also, if you have any film or film franchise in any genre that you want to hear my opinions on in the future, comment those down below, too. I'll try to just get them as soon as I can, and if I can find them. And also, let me know what your favorite Conjuring film is in the Conjuring film universe. So, yeah. But I'm going to review one more from the Conjuring film universe, so make sure you ring that bell, because we're going to talk about Annabelle Comes Home in the next review. So tune in for that. Make sure you subscribe. I'll find something weird, obscure, and odd. They probably never thought of checking out together. And also, so you might hear my opinions on popular films that have come out recently, somewhat like this, and reviews on uh, um, on classic films and other things as well. And also, yeah, make sure you ring that bell because, yeah, Annabelle Comes Home is the next one. I'm probably going to take a break from Conjuring Universe. Leave the other two. I have a little plan for the other two later on, so probably leave them till later. So, but... Yeah, it's good delving into this. Uh, it's been a while, and I re I'm really enjoying reliving it and experiencing some of the ones I haven't seen yet. Like, I haven't seen Annabelle Comes Home either, so we're going to check that one out, and hopefully it's decent enough. But overall, I don't think this is nearly as bad as I was expecting so far. So, yeah, but that's cool. So make sure you ring that bell. Watch out for all those evil nuns out there. Um, plague in every uh, church and I guess I'll see you all in the next review so until then cheers <laughs>